Matthew 9, 9. Let's pray. Father, we just invite you now to be here as we study your word. Help us to be workmen that needeth not be ashamed. And we just thank you and praise you and love you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Matthew 9, 9. And as Jesus passed forth from there, that means where he had, uh, in the, the encounter with the paralytic man, um, that was, that, that Jesus said, rise up and walk. He saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax office. And he said unto him, follow me. And he arose and followed him. Now, um, Matthew also goes by the name of Levi. All right? So in Scripture, you see him as Matthew, and you see him as Levi. Matthew is the name that he uses when he's dealing with um, the Romans. Levi would be the name that he uses as he is dealing with the Jewish people. And uh, coming from the, the tribe of Levi. So, um, uh, he's, he's going to be a man that has two different names. Now, the interesting thing about Matthew is, is that as far as the Jews were concerned, he would have been considered someone who was untouchable. Um, he taxed, he worked for Rome, taxed the Jews. Um, he would have been seen as dirty, uh, to the Jewish people uh, because tax collectors usually uh, taxed people more than what Rome required, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I, you know, interestingly enough, tax collectors must have been good investors too. Um, I, I think back to Zacchaeus, and uh, uh, I forget right now what it was, but it say, he said that he'd give back four times what oh, he's stolen. <laughs> All right, and he had to seem to have no problem doing that. <laughs> if I stole something, I'd use it up. <laughs> but um, he must have been a good investor. So um, tax collectors were notorious for being good with money, and they would be hated people. And so Jesus sees this guy, Matthew, and it came to pass as Jesus sat eating in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. So Jesus collected tax collectors, all right? <laughs> he, he collected tax collectors and sinners. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why does your master eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that are well need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I'm not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Now, that is a mouthful. So let's just break it down, shall we? All right. So these Pharisees get upset with Jesus because he's spending time with the tax collectors and sinners. And he claims to be the Son of God. He claims to be the Messiah. So they're saying, what are you doing spending time with these sinners? You should be taking care of us. All right? They're very selfish. And Jesus says, they that are well need not a physician, but they that are sick. So what does he mean by that? Now remember, he's talking to the Pharisees. So what does he mean by that? Those that are well need not a physician, but they that are sick. The people that are sick need a doctor. Okay, people that are sick need a doctor. So G right, Jesus is not a physical doctor. He's a spiritual doctor, okay? Who is he talking to? He's talking to the Pharisees. He's talking to the Pharisees. The Pharisees think they're what? They think they're well. They're well. Yeah. They, they don't think they need God. You know, they've got God. All right? So Jesus is saying to them in a roundabout way, you know, why should I spend time with you? You already think you're well. 
All right? A little you, sarcastic. A little sarcastic. It's kind of in your face. Yeah. You think you're well, so you don't need me. So I'm going to go to those who are sick. So Jesus isn't approving of the tax collectors and the sinners. But on the other hand, he's saying they need what I've got. And so Jesus is saying, I'm going to spend time, I'm going to go to those that need what I have. I'm not just going to spend time um, on, on, on the Pharisees, the people in the church. I'm going to go outside of the church. You know, and I think that is, that is kind of a, a situation that, that many people get into. Um, they think that going to church is enough, but really the purpose for going to church is so that you can be equipped to help the people outside of the church. Mm -hmm. All right, whatever it is that, that they call you to, whatever it is God calls you to, but go and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. What, what, what is Jesus referring to here? Because Now remember the Pharisees know the scripture. He says, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Remember who, G, who, who, who God spoke to, one of the Old Testament leaders God spoke to about sacrifice? It comes from Hosea 6.6. 6. It comes from Hosea 6.6. 6. Okay, what does Hosea 6.6 6 say? <laughs> that comes from that comes from first king right first samuel first samuel yeah right desired mercy and not sacrifice and the knowledge 